Well, when I saw Annie's work initially, I was so you know surprised and and delighted as a curator of contemporary art with an interest in Inuit art. I was. You know, I surprised myself in what my expectations of Inuit art were when I saw her her very uh, direct pictures of, uh, you know, a uh, domestic violence or, you know, watching <clears throat> Dr. Phil on TV or Jerry Springer. It's, you know, even, you know, someone who has, you know, been to the North, is familiar with the North, Initially, it was like, wow, you know, this is really contemporary. This is something I haven't seen before, you know, and it, even though it on first glance does look like an Inuit drawing that we have come to know, a pencil or pencil crayon drawing, very straightforward, very flat, um, the content was so contemporary and real, and I, and I was so uh, dismayed at my surprise. And I thought, this has to be seen, you know, we all have assumptions, especially Canadians growing up looking at Inuit art and the sculptures of bears and the, you know, prints of owls. And really, you know, it's a, it's a living society. People are working, artists are working, they're watching television, they're getting, you know, limited internet. Um, they're going to school. They're, they're dealing with the challenges that we all deal with and uh, I think in the public's eye when we think of Inuit art we, we do imagine a pristine north, a place of beauty and serenity and the artists today are, you know, they certainly do depict that but it's much broader, it's much more complex as is the whole colonial story of, of Inuit uh, people. So. Uh, I think that is was initially the the delight of seeing Annie's work in the exhibition. I've also included uh, six artists who worked at the studio during the time Annie was working at the studio in Cape Dorset, and I chose work uh, by those artists, some of whom are no longer with us, but that uh, kind of took a, a lead from Annie's uh, brave work and, and then completely uh, made something uniquely their own as well. And uh, there's been a real renaissance at the studios in Cape Dorset since the early 2000s when artists were encouraged to draw what they saw and the younger artists were moving into the studio and there was, you know, a lot of experimentation, pushing boundaries, pushing the scale of the drawings.